G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to divide decimals. Okay, uh, now look, dividing decimals is much like dividing normal numbers. It's just got a couple of little tweaks to it, and especially if you've already started multiplying decimals and you're, you're pretty confident with that, you'll probably be pretty good with this. So, I'm going to go through a few examples to show this. So, first off, an example we might use is what well, we will use is we will do 25.68. And we're going to divide that by 0 0.4. Now, when we do this, as I said, it's fairly similar to normal division. And in fact, I'm going to treat this initially like normal division. So I'm going to actually treat this like 2,568 divided by 4. And then we're going to deal with the decimal placing because it's going to end up with the same numbers if it was 2,568 divided by 4. It's just the decimal place is going to be in a different spot. So... First off, let's do this then. So let's go uh, 2, 5, 6, 8. And we're going to divide this by 4. So let's do this now. 4 into 2, we cannot do, so I put a 0 there. 4 into 25, that goes 6 times because 6 fours are 24. And we're going to carry the 1 because there's 1 left over. 4 into 16 goes four times with no remainder and four into eight goes two times so our answer is 642 okay so how do we deal with this decimal place now that's really really easy but it's a great question so first off what we do is we count the number of decimal places uh, here okay so there's one two decimal places and this is in our number uh, that we're actually dividing and this is the number we're dividing by, okay? And there's one decimal place. And we get this number here, two, and we take this one away. So two take away one is one. Okay, so we're gonna have one decimal place. So with our one decimal place, that means our answer has one decimal place, so our answer is 64.2, okay? All right, how did you go with that? I'll tell you what, we'll give you one more example with this. I'll rub that out. And our example will be as follows. So you're just, you're just gonna do that with a decimal placing. It's, it's fairly simple, but you know how to do it. So, what about we do this one? Uh, 32.15, and we're going to divide that by 0 0.005. Now look, being five numbers, you know this is going to go in fairly nice. And we're going to treat this, once again, like 3215, 3, divided by 5. So, let's do this now. Uh, I'm going to use a different colour now. Uh, 5 into 3 we can't do, so I'm going to put a 0 down there. 5 into 32 goes 6 times, with 2 left over. 5 into 21 goes 4 times with 1 left over and 5 into 15 goes 3 times so we get this answer is 643 so we have can now count we count where the decimal places are going to go we have two numbers here that are behind the decimal place we have one two three numbers here that are behind the decimal place so two take away three is minus one now yeah, this is a bit of a trick how can we put a minus one decimal place in? I'll show you how. This is how. So we get our 643. And instead of going this way, okay, and putting a decimal place in one decimal place, we're actually going a minus one. We're going to go this way, okay? And the decimal's going to go here. And here, we put a zero. So our answer is 6,430. So if you're getting these negatives, you've actually got to add on an extra zero or an extra couple of zeros, okay? Just a little trick to be aware of. Well, I'll tell you what, I reckon we'll do one more. So, the one we'll do now is as follows. Uh, we will go uh, 638.1, uh, and we're going to, uh, one nine, and we're going to divide that by, uh, Let's divide this by 9. So, let's write this out as usual. Uh, 
one nine and we're going to divide that by nine so let's start putting in our answer here um, so nine into six we can't do nine into sixty three or seven nines are sixty three so it's a seven there nine into eight we can't do so we have to put a zero there and carry the eight so nine into eighty one goes nine times and nine into nine goes once so we have this answer of seven thousand and ninety one now how many decimal places are we going to have we have two here we have none here so two take away nothing is we should end up with two decimal places okay so two take away nothing is two so we're going to end up with one Oop, one two decimal places and put it up there where it's supposed to go okay we'll just put it on the wrong part so our answer is 70.91 how did you go with that good all right hopefully you're really really confident with these and any questions comments put them down we'll see you next time okay bye